Minglawa, I am Mumu Mie. I am Country Business Head of Pharma Business in Gary Indonesian in Myanmar. I have been working with Gary already 22 years. I am taking care to develop pharma business in Myanmar. Minglawa, I am John I am Head of Sales and Promotion series to Gary Myanmar. I am joined to Gary in 2007 April, so I have been with Gary for more than 16 years. Minglawa. I am Yutet, HR and MS Manager for Kelby International, Myanmar. I have been in Kelby International almost 29 years. Kelby Myanmar Factory is located in a very special economic zone. That is a developing area with many benefits from the government. Meanwhile, Office located for sales and marketing are in Yangon and Mandalay. Both locations are strategically located in the city center. Myanmar is one of the country where Kalbe developing its business. We have two business entity in Myanmar. The first is Kalbe Myanmar Company Limited is a manufacturing company. It is a subsidiary of Kalbe International Singapore and 100% owned by Kalbe Group. And second is a Kalbe International branch office. This entity mainly focus for the marketing, sales, promotion, and support function. We have a complete team for a those function in Myanmar. Myanmar citizen has a high demand for the Kalbe product, even by some of the Kalbe product becoming the market leaders that are noted and brilliant. As we found in the market, most doctor, patients and end-user customer trust Kirby product quality. Kirby has a good image among the Myanmar people. The price of the Kirby product is competitive enough, made by a reputable company and distributed by the reliable and prominent distributor. On the non-pharmaceutical division, Mr. Greek is the market leader and top of mind in the co and flu market it is strong brand awareness and people trust our product quality. Kalbe started its business in Myanmar in 1993 by doing the first export of Procol and Viveron. Kalbe engaged with two distributor partner which is AA Medical and Royal Ruby Company Limited. As the time goes by, Kalbe business rapidly grew and we decided to set up our own dedicated marketing team to have the penetration and promotion of Kalbe product portfolio in Myanmar. At the moment, Kalbe has four lines of business which are Pharma, Nutritional, CSD1, and CSD2 and Kalbe reputation has gained significant recognition as one of the prominent healthcare company in Myanmar and several of our product have become the market leader like Mixagrip, Brand Egg, and Nosit. The business revenue for Myanmar export in 2022 closely reached 20 million US dollar and furthermore will pass 20 million US dollar in this year. Kalbe Myanmar become top contributor of revenue and operating profit and looking at the potency of the market we decided to build the factory in 2019 to support robust growth of Myanmar business and start commercialization in 2021. Due to of the local high demand and there is an opportunity to expand the market for paracetamol products in local Myanmar market, 
Calvin Myanmar Factory is established to fulfill those demands. Calvin Myanmar Manufacturing produce oral solid medicine. Currently, we produce three brands which are Aspareto product in local Myanmar market. The product are Mixagrip, Neo Mixagrip, and Brand X. For the next year, we are planning to produce three new products such as Nosit, Proco, and Paramixagrip. And we are planning to export to the other countries. In factory, our responsibility also to make sure our product is available in market on time for production and delivery and also meet the requirement as well as quality standard. Kami pharmaceutical product are highly accepted by Myanmar people. You can find our product at private hospital, government hospital, polyclinic and retail pharmacies. You can also find OTC product and consumer health product at Jose Pharmacy, Modern Pharmacy, Retail Pharmacy Channel, Modern Trade, E-Commerce, and True Kirby Home Delivery. KB appointed several local distributors in Myanmar for its LOB. We have four distributors for marketing product and three trading partners. For the distributor of the marketing product, they handle sales and distribution across the country to make sure KB products are available in every store. While for the trading partner, their responsibility are not limited for the sales and distribution only, but also responsible for the promotion activities. In the last decade, our business grew from 1.3 million US dollar until it reached 19.6 million US dollar. The revenue grew 15 fold in the last decade. It was an amazing number. Even during the political uncertainty happened in Myanmar, Kalbe Myanmar business can grow double digit. It shows the foundation of Kalbe business in Myanmar very robust, and we can make sure the business sustainability for many years to come. There are still quite strict regulations from the government regarding imported products. I can say that in general, it's not difficult but not easy either. Over the past year, the government of Myanmar has imposed very strict regulation on imported products due to a local trade deficit. For Kabi International in Myanmar, we have 95 employees for sales marketing and operations including two Indonesian expatriates. And for manufacturer Kabe Myanmar Company Limited, we have 68 employees, including 12 expatriates, 11 expatriate Indonesians, and one Filipino. As a company, we always try to support our employees, especially in unconducive situations. During political instability and the crisis, we make sure the security and safety of the employees are become the first priority. We also provide cost and living allowance to ease the burden during the pandemic and political instability. The challenges that we are facing in here, starting from the limited resources of manpower in industrial pharmaceutical background, the language and culture barrier also occur. After that, limited list of supplier for consumable spare part of the machine. Adding also from the political situation this past couple years back in here, make several regulation and procedure changes in procuring the goods. However, we are giving best effort to face those challenges. For resource manpower, we always try to help each other by training the team. We did several ways to implement KB Panchasrada. We make KB Panchasrada Myanmar version, both video and printed, and we place it in the visible and strategic location in our office. We also introduced KB Panchasrada during the new employee orientation session and participated in a campaign related to KLB Panchasrada. There are several things we do to increase sales through online channels. First, we are driving promotion in e-commerce and CRM. We also increase promotion through the KLB Home Delivery by contacting the MECC platform and advertising on Facebook. 
Second, we make collaboration with the biggest e-commerce player in Myanmar and using their platform to promote our product. We have routine CSR activities to help the community and Myanmar society. There are several CSR activities we have done. Example, before COVID, we did collaboration with international foundations to bring campaign School for Life. We support the school to give in free education for the needed kids to transform them to make sure they will have better futures and finally they will contribute back to their society. Myanmar has experienced several political instability throughout its history, with the most recent one occur in the 1st February 2021. Political instability in Myanmar have strained the country relationship with the international community. We have several challenges in Myanmar. The first, import restriction that impact to the supply chain. The second, payment procedure to another country. And third is law enforcement and regulation changes. And the last one is economic downturn and rising the poverty rate. Myanmar, also known as Burma, has a rich and diverse culture influenced by its long history and the various ethnic groups that make up its population. Myanmar people are known for their warm hospitality and friendliness. They are very respectful to elderly, nice and sincere. The official language of Myanmar is Burmese, which is spoken by the majority of the population. However, there are also numerous ethnic languages spoken by different minority groups across the country. Myanmar has hundreds of traditional ethnicities. One of the most unique is the Kayan tribe. Women of the Kayan tribe in Myanmar are well known for wearing breast squares around their necks. They are entire lives in order to lengthen it. The belief is the longer the net, the more beautiful the woman. Ngalaba, as an expatriate employee, it is paramount important that one has the experience, skills needed, applied, and modified to adapt to Myanmar way of life. Calbe values employee development. It is not only shown in its employees' training, but also in realistic experience building like employee transfer, to gain experience and sharing to other countries. This is strongly evident by cross-country assignment of Indonesians, Filipinos, Indians, and Sri Lankans to different countries like Myanmar, Malaysia, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Having said that, this reflects to employees' true value in the company and the company's commitment to ensure that the employee can live adapt and enjoy in every countries that they were assigned.